Nick DeVries has secured a full-time F1 slot for 2023. Lewis Hamilton's former backup driver Nick DeVries has been told not to take note of any comparisons with the incredible Max Verstappen. AlphaTauri team boss Franz Tost stressed drawing links between the Formula E champion and Verstappen would be the worst possible thing. De Vries starred on his F1 debut at the Italian Grand Prix last season to secure a drive at the Red Bull Junior team. The ex-Mercedes driver has refused to be drawn into speculation he could one day join Red Bull alongside Verstappen. However, Toast has demanded the Dutchman keeps himself grounded to achieve the best results. Toast told Alhamein Dagblad newspaper, the media can do it, as long as Nick doesn't get involved with it himself. That would be the worst possible thing he can do, to compare himself with Max Verstappen. Max is an incredibly skilled driver of unprecedented speed, who works with the best engineers in Formula One. If you immediately start comparing yourself to that, it becomes very difficult. Nike's mind cannot be there now. He just has to sit in that car, do his best and then results will come naturally. Red Bull chief Helmut Marko held talks with De Vries in Austria after securing points on his first race at Williams in Monza last season. A deal was agreed after Pierre Gasly opted to leave the squad for French manufacturer Alpine. De Vries has a wealth of driving experience with multiple teams across the grid. He has taken part in Friday practice sessions at Aston Martin and Mercedes and raced for Williams after Alex Albin was ill. The 27-year-old also competed in sports car racing including the prestigious 24 Hours of Le Mans and won the Formula E title alongside Mercedes. However, Red Bull chief Helmut Marko has already piled the pressure on De Vries ahead of the first race in Bahrain. He suggested the new recruit could lead the constructor ahead of Yuki Tsunoda despite the Japanese star entering his third season. He explained, Yuki is young and doesn't have this experience and background, so, Nick should lead the team. We will see how it goes next year, but from the experience and the personality he has, he should be the team leader.